from ECC, how we are going to migrate ECC to S4 HANA. This is going to be part one of this, uh, uh, you know, uh, tutorial. So it's going to be in the different uh, phases. It will uh, actually, I will split into different videos because uh, uh, the conversion uh, of uh, conversion of ECC to S4 HANA, it will take, uh, you know, a uh, lot of time to introduce you each and every step. So what we're going to do is today, we're going to, uh, you know, um, uh, learn about ECC prerequisites, conversion of ECC um, to uh, S4 HANA uh, through system conversion activities, how to convert ECC to S4 HANA. What we're going to uh, learn today is two prerequisites. What prerequisites are required to ECC to S4 HANA? conversion so uh, uh there are different methods for uh you know uh, converting ecc to s4 hana but um, uh today i'm going to talk about system conversion we are going to use the system conversion method here uh system conversion uh, this is a complete conversion of an existing uh, sap uh, business suit to s4 hana lift and shift customers want to change their current SAP ERP system to S4 HANA. This scenario is technically based on software update manager sum and migration uh, option, TMO, database migration option. And this customer is uh, not yet on a, 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 SAP S4 HANA is underlying database. But we are going to use uh, this method for DB2. Uh, our database is uh, DB2 and um, our uh, operating system is AIX. So what we are going to do, what we are going to learn in the complete tutorial is we're going to uh, learn all. Uh, we're going to learn all these uh, phases. Like um, we're going through. Uh, we're going to uh, learn uh, S4 HANA conversion from ECC through these uh, segments. Like uh, the first one, I'm going to introduce you, and uh, then uh, we have. Uh, S4 HANA migration prerequisites, and then we have uh, S4 HANA migration maintenance planner, then S4 HANA converges some tool on source system, and then S4 HANA migration some tool on the target server. But today's tutorial, today's video is all about uh, uh, the prerequisites and the introduction. So let's start. So uh, what do we have in the S4, what do we have in the HANA uh, prerequisites is like, um, what we need to do is to have uh, um, uh, SAP ECC system as a source system and then the uh, target system. So we have uh, ECC system like SAP GUI presentation, this system, SAP ECC system, and then app layer, database buffer, database, then a database is our is uh, ours is uh, DB2. So we're going to talk about the uh, DB2. But the source can be a multi-layer database, like um, it can be uh, any traditional databases like uh, Oracle, SQL, any other DB. So what we are going to migrate is to HANA DB, multi-core, ma uh, that is massive parallel processing, OLTP and OLAP, column oriented, and uh, RAM should be at least one to two TB, data, uh, data, data disk and the log disk. These are the, this is the database uh, architecture. So the table um, architecture is like um, uh, country product sales. This this is a table. Like uh, uh, what, what we do have, what we what we can uh, just learn from the table uh, how table is going to be in uh, S4 HANA. So you can see that the row one, row two, row three, row four, row row store and the column store. And. Uh, What's going to be the final architecture of our target uh, system is like you can see that 32 CPU core, one CPU can contain up to 28 cores. Each core can handle up to billions of records per second. That's the beauty of S4 HANA database. So our RAM is one to two TB as I explained earlier. So this is the final architecture. So you can see it here. ECC, transactional and master data, analytics and reports, BW, uh, BW system. And uh, uh, 
this is all about uh, how we are going to uh, you know um, see our target system is you can see that how we're going to uh, migrate our uh, data through some tool is like um, it, it, it will be the architecture of our S4 HANA system, SAP HANA app and SAP DB. That's our S4 HANA system. Now let's start with the prerequisites of our, um, I just want to focus on the S4 HANA conversion as a technical basis, like uh, uh, as a basis consultant, what we do. So uh, this was only the introduction of the tables and uh, the databases and the source and our target system. So I just want to cover only the core area of the technical, uh, you know, uh, technical uh, expertise on the S4 HANA conversion. So what, what, what do we have here is like S4 HANA migration precepts. So what we do in the pre-steps is like uh, we have conversion. What, what we do is verify and prepare maintenance planner tasks, some tool on source, some tool on target. So what do we have in the capture and as a prerequisites? Like we we'll just go to the uh, DB2 analysis. What do we have in the data data analysis, like database and table spaces, the space. And anyway, this is the, all about the space technical information. And then we have uh, complete analysis of our uh, table, table schema, table space, table space name, and everything is here. So this is uh, message server monitor. What do we have in the message server? So we can capture this as well as a prerequisites. Then we can go to the business, uh, uh, you know, uh, objects, and uh, we can. Uh, use a transaction SW, uh, SFW5 wh where we can just activate and deactivate the business objects. So you can say business functions. So these are these are the switch framework for the near change business function status. So we can just highlight the business uh, functions and then we, we have an activator activate change here where we can we, we can just click on the deactivate or the activate. And also what we can do is like uh, check ABAP system configuration. So what we can do is go to the SC06 system changer settings and then uh, change it to the modifiable. Then we can go to the SCC4 client configuration and check the SC, uh, our uh, systems availability uh, like settings, no chance allowed or whatever it is. So we have to put it as no chance allowed like this. So we can see our all clients in SCC4. Then we can go to the, uh, then we, we, we can uh, just execute SPDD pending modifications, whatever pending mod modifications we have, we can look into it, the SPDD transaction. So you can see all the table related database, uh, check database object. And also there is an important role of the STMS. We can change our domain uh, system as well. So uh, this is the domain area where we can see our domain, which one is the domain system and how to, you know, go change, make our uh, domain controller as an another system and uh, we can change it. Then we can check the, uh, checking the hardware and requirements. What do we have in the hardware requirements? Like we can go to, uh, uh, edit in the OS level and the, you run the command user SAP trans and uh, ls l part stat dash i where, where we can get all the states like a status of our hardware settings what's be how many CPUs are there memory maximum memory everything then we have uh, uh, we have to check the cluster check well, like for execute for the cluster check it's a SAP level where we can see uh, um, for all uh, physical cluster table names. Check for the readiness, uh, ready, uh, readability of the pool tables. We can see here. This is uh, for the spools. We can also reactivate the tracks to review track in development system. Deactivate, we can just deactivate it. 
and then uh, we need to uh, execute the program rs morif slack data element trokr and this uh, another uh, report and uh, then uh, select fields execute exist and deactivate it so field exists for the data elements then uh, both of these are active uh, inactive now then the system landscape display the system landscape here now uh, change domain controller if the current domain system is in the different system like uh, what we have the extra uh, activate backup domain controller these are the parameters so we can set the operation operational model so operation system like uh, for upgrade we can increase uh, number of active operation modes so this is for the operational mode to set the operation mode we can increase the upgrade uh, process here and uh, we can check the language in the customer namespace in t002 table So this is the uh, addiction. This is uh, of a business uh, add-on. So uh, UI, AUDIC 400-700 is an add-on installation, uh, installed add-on. So uh, we can just uh, make it uh, like uh, an installation ca can be done for this add-on. So uh, as a step upgrade of uh, package of uh, 50170, the following packages are required for this. ADC 500 is in it's mandatory that the ACP file in the EPS in the during installation. So what we do is go to the DB2 and uh, from the OS level and uh, go to the some folder where your uh, ADIC patch is and then uh, test to install. So, so you can just uh, install this from uh, uh, confirm a synth as well. So after the installation of ADIC add-on, add-on installation, what we say that is uh, we need to, you know, now show up in the uninstallation able components table. So uninstallation of the add-ons is done for AD, AUDIC table. Uh, sorry, this add-on. So you can say that this add-on is successfully uninstalled. Now, maximum number of uh, objects in a table space uh, should not uh, near to, uh, fifty thousand. DB2 parameter curl commit is is equal to on is mandatory for DB2 10 point one and higher node. So uh, we're just migrating from DB2. So this add-on should be on. So we can go to the OS level and uh, DB2, G, uh, DG2, SI, DB2 SID, and then uh, DB2 get DB CFG for DB2, what, what our SID related, and then grab and, uh, you know, commit on the currently committed. So our current commit should be on. So that is uh, the parameter where how to set the parameter in the DB2. So we can adjust the products installed in a table as well. So how to adjust the tables. So we uh, we can do that with uh, this update command as well. So this uh, we have to execute uh, this update uh, command from the DB2, log into the OS level uh, with the SID, DB2 SID, and then run the command db uh, slash db6 update db.sh-m 
dash D S I D, and then it will uh, just update this uh, script. Clean up clients in the system. So we need to clean up the clients as well. So we can go to the SAP level, or we are here to delete. Uh, we can do do it with the SAP level, uh, OS level as well. The command is delete from SAP lab user to what mandate is called. This is the OS level command, the SQL command where we can run it from the OS level. We can just check from the copy client uh, this uh, transport log as well. We can delete the clients from SAP level, and if we we have an extra clients and uh, those clients are not needed in the SAP for the migration, we can just reduce the uh, you know effort of our migration. So better to delete them from SAP level. So if we have some uh, scripts to run from the business function. We can go to the SE38 and just uh, run the business function this and then change the business function reversible and then uh, reversible for this and it will create a transport with this uh, transport and it should be in a customizing for the uh, for the business function as well. So when we are uh, just uh, make activating the changes so uh, it's for the uh, business functions as well uh, business functions actually so we can click on the activate change there is a lot uh, actually um, uh, we, uh, in, as a live, uh, live system environment it takes a lot of time to show all these changes that's why i just created a document to show you to uh, give the overview of it but still, you need uh, you know expert to guide you how to do the conversion. So expert is very mandatory to you know to oversight to or supervise supervise you in the migration. So uh, this is the just uh, you know you you, you can just uh, have the idea about that. So this is all about the business functions, how to activate and deactivate for the conversion. Now we're going to use the uh, SW for the SHX. So ABAP uh, editor initial screen is SW, SDFRC star check. So we're, we're going to execute this report and we'll get the report for readiness, SAP readiness check for the SAP S4 HANA simplification item check. So we'll get this report here. And then, as per the report, we'll be able to find all the related, uh, uh, you know, uh, information about the migration. So this was all about uh, like uh, the pre-checks. So I uh, I will include uh, uh, other uh, videos for the complete migration. So I hope I will uh, I will um, complete this. Uh, com uh, I will make a complete video on the migration from ECC to S4 HANA. So I'm just making the I'm splitting it into the different videos because uh, um, I cannot uh, you know include everything in one video. So uh, it may look uh, like uh, it may just uh, be a hectic for the all learners. So the phases uh, will actually um, actually it will increase the confidence of the learners. Then uh, it will also uh, you know um, save. Uh, Kind of uh, what we say that is like kind of uh, it will give a uh, uh, refreshment or it, it will not uh, you know be that it will not create any kind of uh, dizziness for the people to learn as for hana migration but i i promise that it's going to be complete migration so you don't have to yeah you you may need some kind of uh, you know uh, supervision from your technical expert but it's going to be complete end to end thank you thanks for watching